are you? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I know some of you are uh, going, where the hell is she? Did she die? But no, I'm still here. Um, I've had a few people who have messaged me and said, you know, please make another video, please make another video. And um, I've really just been so wrapped up in, you know, this stupid college thing. Sorry, I'm very grateful to go to college. But it's not fun, you know what I mean? Um, and also, you know, inspiration. And then, of course, what has happened? I mean, I haven't made a video in months. So guess what has happened? You know, there's a lot of political stuff happening and that has happened. And um, I'm in Canada, but I still feel the fear or the concern for my community. Um, so it is, you know, one of those things like, you know, what do you make a video on? You know, just, you know, down with Trump or this and that and the other. Where, uh, you know, part of me felt this person got elected because people kept saying his name, Law of Attraction. Everybody kept saying his name over and over and over, good or bad, <laughs> you know, that seems to draw attention. And uh, Law of Attraction, there it is. There it is. It's, it is what it is right now, unless something happens. And it is uncertain, isn't it? Um, especially for my transgender community. Uh, I do worry. Because you don't know, at the drop of the hat, they could change this change law. And of course, it's given some people in the States, um, and actually around the world, you know, carte blanche to cause havoc on the transgender and transsexual community, right? Um, feeling a little bit more like they are justified in their hate. Um, <laughs> I have always... Um, there's that word transphobia and you know this is not a real word it's not a medical real word um, I think it's just this term that people can use to you know explain their problem with you know people like us and it's really ridiculous isn't it because it has nothing to do with fear it has to, because phobias are fears, you know? It has to do with ignorance, hate, jealousy, um, peer pressure, right? People want to be, you know, want to be part of a gang. And as I've said before, you know, when you're part of a gang, then you're going to do what the gang does because you want acceptance and stuff like that, right? So... It's just ridiculous. Anyway, so lots of stuff going on, right? Um, uh, with myself, this month or this week, it would be two years since I started vlogging. I had lost a full-time job at the beginning of 2015. And then I went, I'm just going to start doing what I've always wanted to do and vlog. To talk. Because I'm not a big marcher and I'm not a big, you know political uh, person like getting into politics and stuff, right? So I thought, well, this is something I can do. And, you know, the, the audience has grown bit by bit by bit. And I've been very happy with that. And I've been happy that, you know, people, there are some people who are regular watchers. I think they, you know, either can be inspired or just entertained by my goofiness, right? And then also that they're hopefully seeing a reflection of themselves. And certainly when it comes to, you know, the stereotypical transsexual uh, person, that all we care about is how we look and to be pretty and to be, you know, sexy and stuff, right? I take pride in my appearance, mainly to do that I want to be taken seriously. So I think anybody, man, woman, whatever, should be taking pride in their appearance because you get treated so differently when you put effort into your appearance and stuff, right? And for as far as makeup goes, as you can see, I don't wear a huge amount of makeup. I've never been a makeup-y kind of person, right? I don't think my face was made meant for a lot of makeup either, right? 
some people have those nice big eyes and you can just do so much with it and stuff. And I have small baggy eyes. So it's not conducive to be putting a bunch of stuff on there, right? And as far as lipstick is concerned, I put on lipstick when I do a video for you guys. Or if I take, I'm in a, gonna be in a still picture or something like that, right? But I don't walk around with lipstick Mainly because it just feels, you know, weird. I got lipstick on and I'm always scared I'm going to smear it or something like that or it's going to get all over the teeth. Like it very well could be now. Who knows what's happening? I have no idea. Anyway, I just wanted to say hello and, uh, you know, hope everybody is doing okay, especially with this, uh, the political atmosphere. I know there's some transgender people uh, and that are worried about what could happen and stuff like that and i have to sort of remind you though adversity in our community we've been going through that for years and in, and in very much worse situations um i think the that mini explosion we had in 2014 2015 of this transgender awareness stuff i think kind of bothered a lot of the general public, right? Oh God, another group that we have to be concerned about. I, got, oh, I think it's, you know, I don't think it has anything to do with any sort of like that this should not be happening. I think it's like, oh God, you know, um, because, you know, people who want to use the Bible and all that stuff, again, they're just wanting to be a part of the group and part of the thing. And then of course, a lot of religious people use it has used their beliefs or whatever as a weapon, right? For control and to appear better than others, right? So don't forget, my people, that we have been, you know, going through this sort of, you know, discrimination, what have you, for since the beginning of time, right? And I think the advice I have is to keep on going. Keep on being proud, especially for my transsexual community, the, the ones that, you know, you know, are having operations and are going towards changing their bodies to match their minds and stuff like that. Because I also feel since the explosion of this, the transgender awareness, there's a lot of people who are using it as a way to shock and be, a, you know, shock their parents or shock society and stuff like that. So they're using all this gender stuff, right? Where I don't believe a lot of them are actually true transsexuals. They may be, you know, like gender fluid or, you know, um, like almost like a fad, right? I know some people are gonna go, what, how dare you, la la la, you think you're better than me. Oh God, nobody can seem to have an opinion. What I'm saying, that's fine, I don't care, but, for us transsexual people, the real, true, gender dysphoric type of situation, this, that has always been my concern about um, society and the government stuff, the, the protection of that, right? Because anybody who isn't a true transsexual, you, you get that flexibility of going back and forth and doing this and that and la 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 la, well we don't. This is me, this is who I am, and this is who I, I'm going to remain. I am so grateful for the people who have made it possible for me to be me. Really? You know, Carolyn Cossey and all, I've made all these mentions before these people who've come before us who truly faced diversity, who truly had to persevere in being who they are, right? So anyway, hello again. I'm back and I'm going to start being, you know, more better at making the videos for you and also, you know, answer more questions that people have been, you know, because I do go on and I do look at the comments. Um, so lots of questions being asked and also maybe talk about, you know, these people, these guys that are, you know, use our vlogs or our Facebook profiles to think it's some sort of dating thing and I wanted to ask dirty questions and stuff. I'm like, oh God, are they ever going to grow up? Because, you know, I'm so <laughs> over that. I, also, it's 2017 and I'm actually officially 50 years old um, this past couple of months. Um, but I'm a 1967 baby and so I am because I talked about being 50 
I think I did that to ease my way into actually turning this age. So this is 50. You know, take care of yourself. Love yourself. And we will talk soon.